Okay, so this has been stuck in my head ever since I more or less just like bailed in the middle of last night. I am working on things. I'm working on phase weave. So we're making phase fabric, which is 4 thorium, 10 sand. Best place for me to make it. Kind of in a number of places. Right here is probably fine. It's ugly. And the one problem we're running into is space. But you know what? I'll make it work. Okay. Uh, let's see. So how do I want to do this one? Because realistically... Realistically, we probably just want to set something up like this. And get this going. Yeah, yesterday I just it I've been recording too long, shows like get off, and it's like, yeah, I really should. I am bad at these things. Okay. So I'm gonna try using overflows. Usually I use routers, but I'm wondering if overflows actually work better. Oh. They do, but I should have the overflows here instead. Just for the sake of consistency. Overflow gates, yes. We are using the correct thing. There we go. So I'm just going to have a couple of these. We might want to... Hmm. We might want to consider picking this up and moving this. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to put it over here. And we're going to pick all that up. Main reason being uh just for some extra space. Cuz I'm probably going to want to dupe this on the other side and that's going to be a lot harder to do elsewhere. Okay. So here's the crazy idea. I'm going to launch pad this into this base. Instead of trying to pipe it all the way back down, we're just going to launch it. Instead of the windswept islands, we're just going to launch it... Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, will it not let me do the windswept I swept islands? Can I not select? <sighs> I was really hoping I could actually... S well, you know what? That sucks. I don't actually know if I'm launching anything else, but let's send it back to the Windswept Islands. I'm just going to use that as my... Dang. I was really hoping I could actually use the launch pad to launch resources back to the base... Uh, you know, back to the map that I'm currently on as a, as a means of bypassing, having to actually get it back here. <laughs> Unfortunately, and alas, no dice. Okay, so in that case, I'm just going to go, whoops, I didn't actually set this up, did I? Boop. Make sure that's all lined up. Looks like it is. Okay. There we go. So in that case, let's just get some laser drills down. And grab as much thorium as I can. This mess is a little hard to consider. Because if I pretty much want to get... If I offset it a little bit, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to get all of this thorium, but I don't think we're going to need it. And honestly, like, perfect efficiency is kind of a myth anyway. That I could... I could try to get it down. I could probably get it set up. But is it worth it? I, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta leave some room so we can get some water up in here. Let's just hook all these down and around.
Okay, now if I just put this here, that should connect and cycle everything over. Cool. I'll probably want to hook water into this. Maybe, but really depends on how much kind of immediate overflow we're even going to have. Okay, and for the time being, let's put it all into a vault. I don't know how much vaults can even hold, but I figure we'll just use it as such for the time being. Oh. You know, it certainly helps if I actually hook everything up. <laughs> Looks like my biggest issues are getting the sand in. But I think even just beyond that... What we need is more of this. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to tear this up. We're just going to make... another one of these. My logic being I can I can copy paste this. And we're just going to hook all this stuff up. There. next order of business. There we go. Now we've got now we got sand for days. But like looking at this output we don't need half this stuff. This singular sand line might on honestly only be enough. For like two. So in that case. We want to do this one. I don't know. I'll figure out a more optimum setup in a bit. For now, though, we've. I'm just gonna go with this. Because part of it is, we're under attack on multiple fronts, and it's more important... Ooh, 17% damage. Ooh, okay, died there. It's more important that we we make sure all of these areas are good to go. Alright, I think everything else here is good, yeah? It doesn't look like we've sustained too much damage. Just a bit. Having the, uh, having the Builder Fixer flyers just around... seems like it's going to be huge. Okay, so it looks like these are good. So let's go back to nuclear production complex. I'm really going to have to start assaulting. We might even want to start assaulting those enemy bases. Let's see. We might want to start assaulting them later. Okay. Here's one thing. This one for sure I'm going to pump into a a launch pad up here. We're just going to send it to the windswept islands. We've got tons and there's no point. In me hoarding it here. Uh, let's see. 
should be doing now. Oh. Fungal Pass has been recaptured. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. How are you doing with power? Not great. Too many factors, factories, not enough fuel. Oh. Okay, so my thermal pa thermal energy is is donezo. See, we got any nice patches of coal? Yes, we got a couple. Okay. I know I can turn certain things into coal. Let's see. Let's just do that. Luckily, it seems like my my base is still functional, even with limited power. Yeah, because these are staying powered. We might also just want to slap down a whole bunch of uh, solar panels as kind of like a backup power source, just to fill the gaps. Okay, but for now at least... I guess, actually, what we want is a liquid junction. And a bridge conduit. Okay. Move that there. Okay, so that's got water into all of these. Probably want to get a distributor here. Okay, these two don't have water. Not a problem. Slap all those down. Okay. So power power is still going to be a problem. But I think we'll be fine. Because all I have to do is thermal generators. Or steam generators. Okay. Crazy idea. Ain't gonna work. Don't. There's no way. There's no way this is actually a good design. But you know what? I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I need power, but you know what? I also need science. This one's the problem. I'm I'm just gonna rip these these ones up. Huh. I guess it still works. Just keep that there. We just pipe around it.
There we go. Okay, bridge conduit. Water, water, everywhere. And I have drops to spare. There we go. How's our power looking now? Back in the positives. Ideally, I'd like to up my coal production, maybe, or look into, oh, right, we've got thorium power. What am I even doing? Thorium reactor. Let's take a look at this. It requires constant cooling. Will explode violently if insufficient amounts of coolant are supplied. So it needs a lot of cryofluid. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? I mean, I could try it. How the hell do I make cryofluid again? That was just titanium and water. Okay. I am vaguely in support of this idea. don't know how much of this we're going to need, which is a bit of a worry. Nor do I know how effective this is going to be. Uh, let's see. Just have this all poured into a liquid tank. We might have to up our titanium going into this one, or something. Okay, next order of business. Good bridge. Move that there. Everything is hooked up. Okay, so this doesn't have power. That would explain some things. And let's actually... Let's bop all this into a vault. Okay, unloading titanium. This way we will always have a decent supply of this stuff sitting around. Liquid tank. Okay, I'm just gonna make one of these because I'm a little afraid it's gonna blow up in my face. Even, okay, what do we need? Ooh. Man, it blew up immediately because I didn't actually make the cryo fluid. Well, thank you, repair bots. I'm just going to get those. Yeah, you know you know who forgot to actually put water into the system? Uh, this guy. I knew I was missing a step a step of the way, but I it didn't really process why. <laughs> That's a big whoops. Shit, how do I get water up in this? Okay. Poorly. That's how. Let's see if this works. Uh, 
Okay. It looks like we're good. Let's start with the thorium, thorium reactor. Did I lose my builder flyers? I think I did. I think it blew up everything. Okay, so the big issue is a couple of things. These aren't hooked up. You're not hooked up. Thank, thanks for that judgment, game. Okay, so my water, water production is bad. Main issue? Not enough, not enough water to go around. I'm using it on too many factories. Okay. It's fine. I have some solutions. Get that so this empties out. So I don't burn everything. Okay. And here's the thing. I don't want to rely on those. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do... This? Okay, this is emptying out. Now it's like, it's gotta be, right? Well, let's hope if I just tear this up, it won't burn out on me. All right, so far, so good. Rotary pumps. Oh, well, here's a problem. I still have to actually, you know, connect these to a water line. Otherwise, there's no point in it. Okay, Guardian approaching in 10 waves. I think I'm fine. Okay, these should all be connected. I have to figure out how to get this into my water network. Good. The junctions are automatic. The reason why I'm putting it back up here, just a smidge, is hopefully this way it uh, stacks, it can apply to some of the upper areas without as many issues. Okay. There we go. That should be a nice, solid chunk of bonus water going to everything. Looks like it's filling back up almost immediately. Hey, you looking? Beautiful. Thank you. I'm just going to route some of that around. It's some spaghetti bits for sure. I never did... I kind of connected these. I 
you're never going to be able to output. I'm not exactly maxing out the amount of slag that I'm able to generate here. You know what? Let's do that. I'm just going to put this on a bridge conveyor across. And then a distributor here. Still not exactly peak slag as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's hope. Okay, I could potentially get maybe one more of these. Okay. And I'm going to do one overflow gate. Because the thing is, we're not going to be using that much power. I don't think. There we go. So now we've got loads of power, loads of water. Everything is good. I think? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I, de I definitely bailed when I was in a little bit more of a vulnerable state. I have a lot of that stuff. Oh, boy. How am I even going to end? You know what? We were just launching this. Okay, so we're just sending this to the Windswept Islands. There we go. So that'll just dump off. I guess I'm going to get rid of that one, because I think the unloaders will unload into each other. Okay, so let's go back to the Windswept Islands for a moment. Okay, so this is unloading... This stuff. Face fabric. I'm gonna do face fabric instead. I guess realistically... We could undo all of this. So what are you unloading? Copper. You're unloading thorium. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to have... I guess we can only have four launch pads. Oh, why am I doing this? This is egregious and unnecessary. There we go. So that way we are going to be outputting most of our resources. The only problem is we're not necessarily going to be able to lift off from this area that smoothly. Yeah, could I? Yes, actually. I, I could loop an amount of resources out of here. So maybe what we do want to do is start outputting these resources hmm. 
I guess the real trick would be... All right, I was going to make sand for some other things. I'm just lost. This is just a little bit too much noodle for me to have to process past. I guess I'm going to get rid of this because it's not helping me anyway. And we're going to run some lines down. Because I'm, I'm going to want to start porting thorium. And I'm going to want to start porting... Uh, Let's see, thorium, phase fabric, and whatever other resources I can possibly get my grubby little mitts on. Okay, other thing I wanted to double check. Or nucleus. Big sucker. Power nodes are in my in my way. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, extend them down here. here. Okay, this is a bit sloppy. Let's see. Because, yeah, what I want to do... is have all of this stuff... there. Honestly, let's just undo this. We're not going to get attacked that much. This whole line here should be enough. But just in case it isn't, I'm going to put a container down. Right there. With an unloader. Main thoughts, we can start producing, with all this extra sand that I, I've got, we absolutely could start producing the blast material. Blasting, blasting. I honestly forget. Blast, blast compound, there we go. It's like, I know I'm close. But we absolutely could just produce this stuff here. Instead of yoinking it from another location. Because I think what I'm going to want to do is use this as my primary resource gathering spot. What's your problem? Oh, you didn't actually hook up. You aren't hooked up. There we go. It's one thing. It's like, we should be getting, we should be getting resources. I don't know what's going on. Once I'm done with this place, hopefully we can actually start porting resources to another location. I'm still not going to be able to get silicon or metaglass that easily. Okay, there we go. Put those there. There we go. Only problem is this is all pointed the wrong direction. But that's not that big of a deal. Just gotta loop it around. Okay. Did the container fill up? I guess it did. 
Works in my favor. Okay, hook all that up. Disconnect this. So now I've got to figure out. Let's disconnect these two. Is here. Put these here. Um, we want to get the thorium around. I guess honestly, bonus line out this direction. Okay, right. I forgot. I need to actually have an unloader. I never did finish hooking this up, did I? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I guess there's no easy way for me to do this. So let's, let's just do that. There we go. Because ideally, I'd like to have at least a couple of these little factories going. Okay, let's cancel this launch pad. We don't need or want it. We want to just be using this. Uh, let's see. Gosh, yeah, and I'm not even using half of my sand production here. That's a problem. I think we'll be okay. I think we're good. I'm noticing just a little bit of... Oh. If I did an armored conveyor... There we go. If I do an armored conveyor, it also prevents it from passing. And that way I'm not just using junctions constantly. I almost would kind of prefer that instead of just using junctions left and right. Oh, but I need to use junctions largely left and right. Okay. So I think I'm good for one more. where this becomes a problem. Okay, put that there. Oh, shoot. There we go. So now we should be outputting sufficient amounts of sand. you. Uh, I guess it's right. I'm just going to do that. We're not going to be able to fit any more immediate production in, into this anyway. Okay, there we go. Let's 
Hopefully it should be hooked up. Everything should be good. Okay, so now we're going to be storing phase fabric actually in our core. Uh, there's like a smidge of cross-contamination, but I'm not seeing it anymore, so I think we're good. Oh, because this bridge is stupid. That would explain things. Alright, there we go. So I think the only other thing that I'd maybe want to consider here is actually looping some of this water. What are we doing on water? Approximately acceptable. Sector 40. Oh. Okay. I was realizing I hadn't actually looked at that for a while. But that's Bridge Junction. Onto it. Hopefully these aren't terrible water hogs. Guess we'll find out shortly. Slap these bridges down. Go right in. Here. Here, 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 and here. Apes. Going all the way in. All these are good. Nope. All these are not good. Okay, and that should be the last of the water that I use. Kinda wish I could do like atmospheric condensers. Okay, this one's not getting any, because none of these are. Because I never actually put this here. Or these here, now I'm thinking about it. There we go. That should be sufficient water for everything. Definitely straining our water supply, though. I wonder if an amount of it is just due to... I'm not going to say supply issues. But who wants to bet? That these... Like, we just don't have enough pipes for the amount of water that I'm trying to transport. I think that's a I think that's a very vehement yes. We literally just do not have enough pipes. I think we're okay, though. As resources normalize and start capping out, I don't think we have much to worry about. 